Hello, this is Wan Hyun. Here, we are talking about SOLIDWORKS simulation, finite element analysis. In this lecture, so we are cover the finite element analysis of um, thermal expansion. So, all material has thermal expansion coefficients, so we can simulate that happening uh, in SOLIDWORKS. Okay, now here I have uh, the, a, the long metal beam this is, uh, we assume this is aluminum alloy 6061. So we go into new and static analysis. Here, the same material property we can apply. All right, so I uh, search into here aluminum alloy and 6061 alloy we would like to apply. So click apply and close. So, and then fixture should be uh, it should be uh, one side is the fixed okay so right click and fixed geometry here so this surface this face should be uh, fixed all right now um, we have to apply temperature change I mean ambient temperature change okay so before doing that we have to define what temperature is the reference okay so go to study here right click and then you go in uh, property windows here okay uh, third tab click that so here the thermal options we had we can uh, specify certain reference temperature at zero strain here okay so change uh, unit is Celsius it automatically change like that and let me put 20 degrees Celsius as room temperature okay so click OK so now I have 20 degrees Celsius of the re uh, as a reference now uh, for the external load gonna be temperature here right click that okay now I can uh, select any surface any edge any um, the body to define certain temperature but um I but um in this case I cannot select uh, the this whole the body so I'm going to use the filter here the, at the bottom so if you don't have this filter you cannot see just hit function 5 in your keyboard okay hit function 5 so we can see uh, this filter so uh, here this yellow boxes gives uh, uh, allows you to select the body so once click like that click this one your pointer has some symbol and then now I can select the whole body like that and then this body will be um, 21 Celsius degree Celsius like that okay to make sure the unit system is same as uh, your reference and click it and this is ready to go the, the the create mesh and then go run alrighty okay so now I have this uh, the results this result is uh, here the displacement displacement is the millimeter okay this is like uh, 25 uh, 2 uh, microns for one degree change okay so if you want to look at only X direction you can right click edit definition and see UI component only so like that and also you can change the uh, display display scaling uh, like that okay and then animate it so it changed like that uh, the elongated along the longitudinal direction like that okay and also this is 3D model it expands all the direction so all right this is uh this is the simple the thermal expansion analysis in solidworks simulation thank you if you have any question just let me know